Welcome everybody to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy, <clears throat> excuse me, and today I am going to show you how I make my jewelry. The items you will need is a paint skin. This is the paint skin I will be using. You will need since I'm going to be, be making pendants, I'm going to be using some blank pendants. We have a butterfly, a dragonfly, an elephant, an owl, and a turtle. You will also need some glue, um, some clear glue, this is T8000. I'm um, not sure how to say that. Zan Zanlilda. This is a good adhesive, very strong adhesive. And then you will also need some diamond glaze, water based dimensional adhesive. This is for, it is like a three dimensional glue. It helps to make your jewelry pop. And you'll also need your cabochons for these, which I will get in a second. Okay, so I have my cabochons. This is a cabochon. It is a glass cover. And it is used for being placed inside after you put your paint skins in. I also have a one inch or 25 millimeter um, oval shaped punch. That is for this size. And I also have a round punch. This is a one inch or 25 millimeter punch and that is for this size. I have not been able to find these yet, but I will show you how to do that part just a jiffy. Okay, so we will, I will be starting out with the, the one inch millimeter, uh, the 25 millimeter owl and turtle because I have the punches for those and I need, you will need some scissors. As you can see I've been using these a lot. They got glue on them and stuff. So what you want to do Take your cabochon and find the spot that you want. So I am thinking I want... That one's pretty. I think I want right there. So what I do is I will take my scissors and I will cut A square piece or whatever piece out of there so I have a nice flat surface and this is the piece I want to use for this one so I'm going to use I think I want to use that spot right there hmm Fading. I think I'm going to use that spot right there. So I want to take my round punch and I'm going to slide that in there. Now I can turn it over. If you turn it over you can see where you're punching and that is where I want. See that? And it is punched. And there it is. There's the back. There's the front. Now, I will also take a look to see where I want my turtle.
I think I want turtle to be right there. So, same thing with the punch. Put it in upside down so I can see where I'm cutting. That way you can get an accurate cut. And there is our piece. Okay, so with these two pieces, we will take our T1000. I also have E1000, which will work just as well. But I'm going to use the T1000 because I already have this one opened. Now the T1000 has the tip in here for keeping your glue closed and keeping it from drying out. <clears throat> so what you want to do is add, you don't need a lot. That is what that is how much glue I have on there. Okay. Well, I want to kind of get it spread around a little more, I guess. You just take this. Doesn't really matter which way you put it in there because you can turn it around. Spin it and push it in there. So what I like to do is take this and just set it in there and press and hold. You can twist it. See what I'm doing here? Decide which way you want your color to go. Take your capuchon out. Let that dry. Give it at least 15 to 20 minutes to dry. And now we will do the same with the turtle. Now this one you can't really turn around, but... I still do the same thing. Put that in there. You can move it just a teeny bit. There's a little bit of play in there, but... Give it a nice press to get that glue spread out underneath there. Come on. Alright. And let that dry 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so while we are waiting for those two to dry, I'm going to show you how to do the ones I don't have a punch for, that you will need your diamond glaze for. But let's first pick our spots. All right, I think I want that spot. Sometimes this stuff gets dried out. It does not have the pin like the other glue does, but I just pop, pop a regular needle in there. So that is basically all you will need on there. You don't need much more than that. Probably don't even need that much. Just place it in your spot that you want. Give it a nice firm push on it. Don't matter if the glue sticks out the sides or not. This stuff dries really, really quickly. See how I can't turn it anymore? 
Okay, now we will find one for this one. I think that's a good spot right there. I don't know if that's the exact spot I had, but it'll do. And we got the little tiny one here. I think I'm going to take that spot right there. Okay, now we just got to let those dry. Like I said, 15 to 20 minutes. And I will show you what to do next. All right, so while we're waiting for the other ones to dry, we will add our cabochons to this. See, it's plugged up now already. So, my trusty needle, and I just go in here and unplug it. And then you just place that on there like so. Don't worry about getting glue all over the place because I will show you what to do after that. Just twist it around a bit. Get it all in there. Make sure your capuchon is even. And hold it. I just hold it in place for a few seconds because this stuff does not take long to dry at all. Alright, there's that one. Set that off to the side for later. And we'll let those dry for about 15-20 minutes. Not quite dry yet, so we'll give it another 10 minutes. Okay, I think we're dry enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my trusty scissors and I'm going to cut piece off. I'm going to cut my pieces out. Alright, put those off to the side. Alright, so what you want to do when you're cutting these is you kind of want to go at an angle, right? So you're cutting a little bit underneath the cabochon. You want to stay underneath so you don't have any edges. Basically, you want to check your edges, make sure there's nothing sticking out. If you do, you want to trim that. And my edges seem to be alright. So, now we will go back to our T8000. And we will glue these down. Press firmly, move it around a little bit, get it in the spot you want. 
I'm gonna put that off to the side and show you later. Same thing with the rest of these two. Like I said, don't worry about getting glue on the jewelry. We will clean that off after we're done here, after this is all dry. Move it around, twist it around, get it in the spot that you want. Give it a nice firm press and set that off to the side. And last one. Nice firm press. And we'll set it off to the side, let them dry. And I will be back to show you with the results. Before I show you the results, <coughs> excuse me again, I would like to show you how to clean your jewelry. So you would just need a napkin or a paper towel, something soft, and some alcohol. Some 99, 96, 90 whatever alcohol. Spray your, spray your napkin. And then you would take your piece of jewelry and you just wipe it off. And that is what I'm doing, is wiping off the jewelry without trying to show you the results. This will take the glue off that's, that seeps out. Any fingerprints that you had glue on your fingers, anything like that. And I will be back after I clean all these. Okay, so I'm back and it is time to reveal. I think I'll start off with the dragonfly. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a small one. And the elephant. Let's go with the with the turtle. The turtle. Ooh. There's the turtle. The owl. the butterfly. All right, so now we're there. So now you will need some of these little I'm not even sure what they're called. They are little trinkets to make your pendants into necklaces. So we'll take, put it in there and squeeze, squeeze the end. So that, there it is. And then I only have, <coughs> Right now, I only have these leather necklaces. I have more chain coming. They have a little clasp on the end.
And there it is. So here we are. Here's the ajo. The butterfly. The dragonfly. The turtle. And the elephant. Thank you for watching and happy pouring.